Hey everyone, my name is Hal. This is Quail Studios Guitar. We're going to talk a little bit about variations today. I was looking at one of Rick Beato's latest videos and he had Justin Bieber and Toto, I think it was Toto, side by side. And he was saying, you know, did Justin Bieber rip off Toto? You know, did they? Anyway. So let's talk a little bit about variations. There is no excuse for someone to really write a song that's very similar to another song because there are so many variations you can do. I'm going to give you an example from the Goldberg variations. This is a Bach piece. There's a theme which is called the aria and it's very beautiful and I'm going to play it for you right now. And just in a few minutes I'm going to play that again and I'm going to play along with the guitar and show you the chord progression. Let's show you what the chords are. I'll get my guitar down. Let's make sure it's tuned. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to play a recording I did of this and play along with it. The first chord is a G chord because this is in the key of G. Then the next chord is a D chord, but it's got a D with an F sharp bass, which is an inversion, right? Sometimes we call it a slash chord. Then we have an E minor chord, then an A chord, then a D chord. And then we have a D with a C bass, B, excuse me, a G with a B bass, and then a C chord, and then a D chord, and then a G chord. And that's the chord progression, basically. It's a little bit more complicated between the C and the D, but basically that's it. D with an F sharp bass, E minor, A chord, D, C bass, G with B bass, C chord, D chord, G chord. Then we start the next phrase, which is another G chord. Okay, now let's go to um, four of the other variations. And I'm going to let Glenn Gould play the variations because he's better at it than I am. Now let's play along with these clips and I'll just show you what the chords are and I'll put them on the screen too.
So you can see there's no reason to take the same chord progression and do the same rhythm to it because all of these pieces are vastly different, drastically different. So as you're writing your own pieces of music, make sure to write them with variety and don't do the same thing every time. You know, some of these pieces are in 4-4 four, four time, some of these pieces are in 3-4 time. I'm just looking right here to see um, what kind of time signatures these pieces have. And, oh, here's one that's in 2-2. Uh, two, two. The fugue was in 2-2. Two, two. And uh, some of them are 3-4, some of them are in 6-8 time, one is in 12-8 time, 2-4 two, time, 2-2, two, 3-4, two, 2-2. Four, two, two. 4-4. Four, four. So really, you can change the time signature and just change the whole feel of it and uh, change the style and everything. All right. I hope you have a good time playing music and writing music. We'll talk to you later. Bye. This is Hal, Quail Studios Guitar. See ya. Bye. Mm -hmm.